Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create or how to um, train your AI model to actually understand a particular or a repetitive image. So if you wanted to always use a particular image or a particular image sample, this is actually how you train the AI to understand that. So I'm going to do this by showing you in a different account. Now, before you actually train your AI, make sure you have actually got that image of different views. So what I mean by different views, like front views, side views, and uh, forward. So I've actually gathered that, and I think we can actually, uh, we are good to go. So this is actually the images I've gathered, um, and we are about to use on this image. This is side, this is also side. This is the other side, this is the other side, and then this is front, and then I have even more front. So I've gathered all of this image and we are going to use it to build our AI model to actually use this image repeatedly. So all you need to do, go over to leonardo.ai or app.leonardo.ai and then you actually navigate to training and model. So let's go ahead and train our AI model. Now, if you open this, if you do not have any AI model, it's not going to display anything. But if you already have one existing, it's going to display everything right here. So to create a new AI model, all we need to do is to click on create a new um, data set. Now, if you click on data set, it's going to require you to put a name, um, my Jude. Actually, you can just put... Um, you can just put anything you want and on this description you can leave that to be blank and i'm going to go next so this is going to load up and actually ask you to upload the images so i'm going to click on upload and then i'm going to go ahead and select images from the particular folder where i have it so i'm going to go to download and i'm going to go to jude or jude yes select all of the images and then click on open this is going to start uploading your image into the data set then let's wait for it to finish so once you finish we can now proceed it's almost done this is most likely fast because um most times it doesn't actually take this long and anytime it takes long you can always refresh because sometimes it would have completed and still displaying now the next thing for you to do is to click on this area where it says train model now if you click on that you can now start training your model you can go ahead and give your model a different name that is if that is what you want. Now go ahead and choose the stable diffusion that is required for this. I'm going to choose version 2.1. And then the next thing, choose the resolution that you want. I think I'm actually going to make use of this. And finally, go ahead and choose the category. You are going to choose a category of the kind of model that you are building. And the kind of model is actually a character. If this is a living room, you can choose, uh, let's say, building. So this is actually a character, so I'm going to choose that. Then you can go ahead and add an instant prompt to actually display. That is actually a prompt that will always display. If you do not want to use it, you can just say Jude on the um, on the prompt area and it will display. So whichever name you put here, that is what we display. So I just type Jude. Now the next thing you need to do is to say um, is to start training your AI. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to start training the AI. And you are going to notice that it says training in progress. We will email you when it's complete. So whenever it's complete, they are going to send you an email saying that this is actually completed. But if you um, do not want to check from your email, you can always see that on your Leonardo AI. All you need to do is to click on view job status and you are going to see the job status is going to load up and display here in progress. Once it has completed, um, it, you are no longer going to see this in progress. So let's give it some time to complete. All right guys, so you can see that that it says that this is done and if you check my email you can also see a, a message from leonardo ai when you click on it you are going to notice it says one of our model has finished training now all you need to do is to come back um you can either click on this to make any adjustment that you want but i don't think there is any adjustment that i need to make so let's go ahead and test ai by going to image generation so now um click on image generation and then choose how many images you want and this is the prompt area click on the prompt area and then type the prompt that you want to use so i am going to say um right um all 
okay so um you should click generate but do not do that immediately now you actually need to choose your custom ai to actually generate with your custom ai now to generate with your custom ai click on this drop down where it actually says fine tune and then go ahead and locate where it says uh, select uh, other model click on that now this is going to load up and on default is going to show you the platform models these are all the platform model now you actually not need to click on your models to actually navigate to your model area now this is my own model all you need to do is to click on view um, to view that model and you are going to notice where it says generate uh, with this uh, model so go ahead and click on generate with this model so we are actually going to be generating our image making use of our model which is actually called jude now um, to start doing this you can just click on the image generation or you can click on this and you choose either none or leonardo style i think i'm actually okay with the leonardo style now it's going to generate four images for us if there are more things that you actually want to do or select you can go ahead and do that right here now i'm just going to go ahead and generate my image so it's going to load up and it's going to generate our image right here so this is actually how you build your prompt and guys uh this is actually it but let's go ahead and review let's see the results together before this video round up but quick information guys is not always perfect especially is not uh when i've tested this stuff it didn't actually give me the exact information or the exact look that i want so you should be more aware that um now it's looking so weird so weird so weird guys so um to improve on this uh whenever i discover anything i'm going to let you know but um, you can always go to the community to ask questions regarding the images you are actually generating so um that is all i have to do for today's video and i hope this video is helpful um if it is don't forget to smash like and subscribe for more video i will see you on my next video and if there is any changes that i learned new i am going to make it or uh, rather i'm going to update this video and then you'll be able to watch and see how it works so thank you for watching do not forget to smash like subscribe and i will see you peace